still here. So I finally got home and there's daylight. I don't have a lot of time left, but I wanted to give an update of Merida. So I've been working her when I take her out or bring her in as far as groundwork goes. Haven't been on her in about a week, week and a half because it's been cold, rainy, just miserable. And I don't have anywhere good outside to ride when it's like that. But she's still getting her groundwork. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of what we do as I'm bringing her in because I have to work this into my day since pretty much most of my day is spent at the other farm. So here it is. So when I initially entered the field, Merida got really revved up. She was running and jumping, kind of going back and forth at the boys between me. So I just ignored her behavior. I went and gave the boys the treats that I had and just waited for her to calm down and come investigate what I was doing. She did do that. And then I walked over where I had set the halter down and she came with me. I put her halter on, gave her a little reward, and then I took the halter off. She did walk away, but I wanted her to have that option because I wanted to see where she was at mentally. So I just waited by the barrel that I had her stuff sitting on and she eventually came back over to me. I put her halter back on, gave her a reward. She didn't act like she wanted to go anywhere. She was ready to get started. Now comes the next part of the training and that's patience at the gate and not rushing out when I ask her to come with me. She did a really good job at that. Sometimes she's excited, but usually the gate's not a big deal. So we start a spiral circle. First, I ask her to go out away from me. And I do that because she gets a little excited when I put pressure on her. So I wanted to test where she was at with the pressure as we get started. And you'll see that she's looking off to the neighbor's house and she gets a little frustrated with me because I ask her to go out. And this is her just acting out of that frustration. I just continue to ask her to go forward. So she trots, I wasn't asking for the trot, but I didn't shut it down immediately either. I wanted that energy to come out in a more positive way and the little trot jog is a more positive way. And then she comes back to a calm state of mind and we start our spiral in. I'll do this exercise a few times on both sides, but I'll spare you the full video of that. Now that we've done the spiral in and out circle, I'm going to do essentially a leg yield and a shoulder yield. I'm going to explain how this exercise can be used to warm up your horse and also test their fluidity. Okay, you saw her get very excited there. So I have noticed when she's in heat, she does get a lot more excitable, but she's been relaxing much quicker and finishing up really well. So I did some spiral in and out circles with her, get her mind thinking. I didn't ask her to trot, but she did trot, so I wasn't gonna just shut that down immediately. She needed to have a way for that energy to come out, and I would much rather it come out in like a trot jog than in her jumping all around. So I now I did some I guess you could call them leg spreads where she yields the hind end, where she steps out with the hind foot and then crosses over and turns all the way around. I'm also adding to that essentially a shoulder yield so that she adducts and abducts both her back legs and her front legs. So this is going to help her get, get things warmed up, stretch out her groin, her chest, and really allows me to see how fluid are these areas moving for her. So I'm gonna try and show that to you. It's getting kind of dark out, but I would like to show this to you. If I can't get a good clear picture or video of it tonight, I will work on that so you can see that exercise. So it's a good warming up exercise. Again, it gets the muscles moving and it's a crossing over. Let's see if we can get this done. Go 
Good girl. Nice and smooth. Good girl. We're going to ask the hind end. Big step, big step in the front end. able to see that that's pretty much all that we're gonna do right this second I'm gonna take her over the log a couple of times and really that's it and then she's gonna stand in her paddock while I go and get the boys which you know a horse by itself can be very nervous she does a really good job at that so I consider that part of her training because she's gonna need to learn to be by herself sometimes and she also, if she's not going in her paddock right now, I'd put her in her stall. Then she's in an empty barn and it's kind of like being in an empty trailer. So I'm thinking of how her life situation, how I set up her environment is going to help her for things to come in her future. Good job, what a good girl. A little harder. 